All this comes in the wake of reports that the Minister of Transport, Eric Ngimtina, allegedly said his ministry only recognizes one union in the public transport sector. The president of the NPPTA says his organization is registered with the Ministry of Trade and Industry, therefore what the minister is allegedly declaring is illegal. It is, it is also contradictory to the Namibian constitution that only one association is recognized. On what basis did the minister recognize NAPTA if there are no acts or regulations prescribing it as it was referred to in the letter we received from the, from the permanent secretary? In 2010, the same minister declared the NAPTA Congress in Rundu null and void due to the lack of representation of all the regions. Now that NAPTA held a Congress in June 2013, which had even less regional representation. The what the minister has done now, he is actually reversing the cycle of what transpired the, the 15th of October. And we are strongly urging for someone to interfere in this matter. They are being favored because they show themselves out that they are favoring a certain political party. The two taxi associations have been in a battle of words recently. During the national taxi strike, NAPTA declined to join the strike. Their battle of power began a few years ago when NPPTA branched out of NAPTA. This is Arun Mshawkwa reporting for the News on One.